After you learn how to create your switchboard and you want to modify it a bit, for example, let me double click and open up my switchboard form. Like I want to change the color of the buttons and get rid of the alternating row color. To do that, just go ahead and right click on it, go to the design view, go ahead and select the uh, button here. And notice in the details section we just have one. Well, for each item it's going to duplicate, so if we change the one here, for those other items that we saw back in the form view, it'll update those as well. So to go ahead and change the color, click on the Format tab, go to the Control Formatting Group, click on Shape Field, and choose whatever color you'd like. Maybe something red that pops. And then for the alternating row color, go ahead and click on the uh, Detail Bar to select the Detail section here. And then come up here on the Format tab to the Background Group and click on Alternate Row Color from that shade to No Color. Let's right-click, go to the Form View, and there you go. Now, if I want to be able to change the text, for the uh, switchboard here from main switchboard to Dreamforce and maybe update some of the uh, items on that main switchboard, the text that is. I can do it one of two ways. I can either go back up here and click on the switchboard manager and select the switchboards, click on edit, and then change it here from main switchboard to main switchboards, make it plural, and then any items, go ahead and select it and click edit, and then change the name there. Let me go ahead and click cancel, close out, close out. It's not going to update here until I close out, well, save the changes, and then double-click to reopen it, then it's plural, switch boards. Or you can come in the uh, switchboard items table, double-click, and there we go. We have the main switchboard and the items 1, 2, 3, 4 that have been added to the main switchboard. And we can go ahead and change the text there, and then the items for the report switchboard, 1, 2, 3 items, and then for main switchboard, 1, 2 items. So I can come in here, get rid of the S, click in the record below it to save it, close out, go ahead and close out of the switchboard, and then double click to open it back up, and it's back to singular switchboard, not plural. Now if you're like, ah, this is pretty limiting and looks very annoying, remember, we learned how we can go ahead and design a form. In other words, we could go ahead and right click, go back to the design view, delete the item here, and come up here and add the command button, add it four times, and for each command button we can write a macro that can open up the corresponding form. So when I go back to the uh, form view, I can create four command buttons. One that will take me to the customer info, one that will take me to run reports, main data, and close the application. And then I can go ahead and move these buttons around anywhere I want on the form, not have it kind of blocked off like you see here, and have buttons that contain the uh, text within the button instead of to the right side of the button. So your imagination is the limit, but if you're in a hurry, then this is probably the shortest and easiest way to go. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.